Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have my April budget review for you today. But first coffee. It is 3.30 on a Wednesday and I forgot to do my video. So I wanted to update everybody on how I'm doing. And it's a sunny day today. It's going to be 80. I'm so excited. All right. My shirt's a mess. I'm a mess. I've been working all day. So how did April look for me? It looked pretty good. Uh, my consumer debt, in my world, that's credit cards. I began the month at $7,048.18. I ended the month at $6,458.18 which was a pay down of $590. So not as big as what I have been doing, but I will say my YouTube revenues are down. That's typical for this time of year. So I have less like disposable income to throw at this credit card. And right now I'm working on credit card number three, which is my dental bill. I ran up, ran up. I needed some substantial dental work over the last several years and this credit card is what I used and now I'm trying to get it paid off. So it's down right now currently to $1,300. I've already sent it 150 this month. Once I'm gonna have another 150 going out plus any extra that I have. It's just gonna be a little, I'm not gonna say tight, but I did have some situations. Uh, let's see, in April, I did have one home repair, my air conditioner. However, um, with my home warranty, it was $75. A young girl came out and she was able to get me up and running. And quite frankly, my house has never been this cool. So this must have been an ongoing issue, but she cleaned a bunch of stuff and did some repairs and everything seems to be working fine. Nothing is freezing. And I didn't need Freon, which was great. So I have that. I did spend $200 on getting my backpacking gear up to snuff for the summer. To me, that was an investment in some entertainment that I'm gonna be having. Uh, once I have the supplies, there's really not a whole lot of cost involved other than my food and um, like gas to get there. You don't typically pay the backpack. So, so there's that. Um, and then I did spend about 100 to 150 on some spring summer uh, clothing items that I, I mean, I can say I needed them, but I just wanted them. But I got some shirts mostly. Um, you know, there, I haven't bought too much. There is a discussion about going back to the office. This is going to be an ongoing discussion until it's hammered down. Nobody has said you're going back and no, I mean, Okay, nobody has said you have to go back full time. It looks like we're gonna be doing a hybrid situation where maybe two days a week or a day a week or three days a week, something of that ilk. Um, we just have to determine with our managers what that's gonna look like for our team. Um, I also had to make some Amazon purchases. I purchased some Promethrin. Um, if you're going to be outdoors this summer, I tell you, you better get some. I'm making myself itchy thinking about ticks. They're bad. Um, Wellington brought a tick in to me the other day. It didn't attach, but it was climbing in my hair. And I came back from camp backpacking a couple weeks ago, and it's still red here and itchy. I have a tick bite on my neck, and that one did attach. So permethrin is a chemical, and you spray it on your clothing, not on your body. So I will set up my tent. I'll spray my tent, my shoes, my backpack. Um, I will spray my gear, like clothing, socks, two, uh, two pair of socks, my shorts that I typically hike in. I will spray a shirt that I typically hike in. So I'll make sure that those pieces of clothing is what I wear when I go out, and that will keep it's another layer of protection. So when the bug gets on my clothing, it will kill it. So it's good for mosquitoes, ticks, and all kinds of stuff. The only thing that makes me nervous is it's dangerous for cats when it's wet. So I have to be very careful when I spray my stuff down and I'll make a video on it. 
but when I spray my stuff down outside that the boys or Wellington, because Alex doesn't go out, that he is inside and I let the stuff outside dry completely. Once it's dry, it's not toxic to the cats, uh, but I just have to be very careful. And then all of that stuff will get packaged up um, and put away in my garage in an airtight um, container with a lid so the light doesn't get to it and it helps the permethrin last longer. Apparently it lasts six weeks or six washes, uh, but I have to make sure I wash everything on delicate and just, you know, take care of my things like I normally would, but it's just another layer of protection. I'll use still some spray on my body. This protects my clothing. So I bought that. Um, and I also purchased, which these two things will be coming in my, um, out of my May budget, but I also purchased five backpacking dinners and they're dehydrated food. If you saw my backpacking video, you saw that I had one I made for dinner. I purchased a five more, um, from a keto company that makes them and they're forever running out of stock. So I... They got some back in stock and I just ordered enough that I think will last me for the summer. If I need to order more, obviously I can, um, but I was able to pick up five, four dinners, sorry, four dinners and it was $70 and I have one. So I have a total of five for the, for now, if I need more, um, you know, there's other things I can eat as well. It's just these dinners are handy to have to rehydrate. Um, for lunches and things I typically will eat like tuna fish or you know the pouches of tuna chicken meat product and then I'll have some type of a cracker like a keto cheese cracker or something at lunch and then I have my snacks so but that all is coming out of my May budget because that's when I ordered it um, in for YouTube for May, I have to look in here. I don't know what I spent yet. I haven't gotten my bank statement yet for, I mean, sorry, for April. Maybe I did. Let's see, for April, I had to pay, I sent $500 to a credit card and I had to pay $59 for my PO box. So that comes out and I put $171.78 away for taxes. So that was my YouTube revenue. Um, I did use my Capital One credit card, which is my credit card number four, so I need to be paying on that extra this month. Um, care credit, like I said, I paid $500 on that, and then I have since sent it I think 600 yes i've sent 600 dollars already but that's included in my may pay down because my last paycheck of april was really for may it's confusing but please don't worry i have it all written down in my expense budget book this is my happy planner brand it's me and my big ideas i love this planner i think i've showed it to you before Next year, I'm getting a bigger size one. This is the mini. I'm going to get the classic, which is between these two. So it's not quite a full size, and it's definitely bigger than this, but you don't care. So that was that. I, you know, and I knew this was going to happen. I'm still gung ho about getting my bills paid, but summer is here, and I also don't want to not do anything this summer. I don't want to sit home all summer. So I am giving myself a little leeway. But like I said, all the things I bought for backpacking will, that's it. I don't need any more materials or supplies. How, unless I decide to get a new backpack that's lighter than the one I have. Um, my current backpack weighs four pounds. So every little ma ounce matters when you're carrying it on your back through the woods. So I'm thinking or looking at trying to maybe find a lighter backpack. If I could get under two pounds, that would be great. But I don't have anything in the works right now. And if I play my cards right, I could wait till end of season to pick one up and then have it for next year when they're possibly on sale. They, they can be very expensive. A really good ultra light backpack, they cost upwards of $400. So I'm not, 
I'm not trying to do that right now um, because I also, you know, want to go kayaking this summer and I want to do all the things. So there's that, but I'm super happy. I will definitely have my um, third credit card down under a thousand dollars by the end of this month. Um, so I have two more weeks in May. I have one more paycheck in May. Plus I have my YouTube revenue coming in. So between those two, I will definitely get it under a thousand dollars. And hopefully that means I could have it paid in full by July and then spend the last half of the year working on credit card number four, which is my biggest card. And it's sitting at just under 5,000 right now. So that's the biggest card. However, it just feels so good to know I just have one card to pay on and that every, everybody else is at a zero balance. So there's that. And I feel like I ordered something from Kohl's. Oh, yes but I already paid it off. But I went into Kohl's with my 30% off coupon and I got um, some, like they're running shorts. Not that I'm running, cause girl, unless if you see me running, something's coming after me cause I'm not a runner. But the fabric of the running short, when I kayak, I can wear them and if they get wet, they dry really quick. So I didn't want to wear like heavy cotton shorts kayaking and I don't want to just be out there in my bathing suit. So, um, I will wear my bathing suit underneath. Apparently it's nap time. Um, so I did buy that, but I've paid it off. But that that really was not part of the 150 that I bought for spring. So anyway, that is everything I continue to, oh, savings, my funds, my, um, sinking funds. So I did get to put some money in here. And just as a heads up, how this works is from my paychecks, I take cash out either hundred or 200 kind of depending grocery wise where I'm at. And then anything that's left over gets divvied up into these four, four categories. So in April, I ended my tech and the tech is for my Apple watch. I ended that with $32, so I was able to put a 20 in there for April. Um, my travel got $10, so that ended at $35. My Christmas ended at $115, so I was able to put 15 in here. So like, you know, I, it's May, and I've already got $115 saved for Christmas. For the pets, I ended the month at $20, so I was able to put $5 in here. And Costco has zero, which I I have to figure out Costco because like I need to go to Costco, I have a list. So it might just have to get factored into my grocery money. I mean, it is groceries, but I'm purchasing it for several months. But So there's nothing in here right now, I already spent that. So I have my four main categories that I'm saving up for. Um, and then I've already put some money in here for May because I had money left over from my last paycheck that I took out cash. And this week I really didn't need much groceries. Um, so I had a fair amount left over in my fridge. Like I had plenty of coffee, plenty of cream. Now next paycheck, I will need to stock up on cream, coffee, and refrigerator food. So I think what I'll do is take my whole food budget and go to Costco and get some bigger items that I will need for, you know, a couple weeks. Cause that's kind of how I tend to do it. And I already have a list. I need canned chicken, which that's what I use to make the cut crust. <gasps> they have the best steak. I need cream cheese. I need to see if they sell my cat food. And I can also get like some lunch meats and stuff like that. So there's that, um, you know, got to eat and the cats need to eat. And I've been buying their wet food when I can find it because there's a shortage right now. So can't be running out of that. So yeah, that is it. Um, I already know in May, I also have a un all right, unbudgeted graduation gift, which I should have budgeted for, but I forgot about it. So there's that. And Yes, and I'm making cupcakes. I should video the cupcakes. I'll video the cupcakes. I'm making to take to my cousin's graduation party on Saturday. So that's exciting too. 
All right, everybody, that is everything. That's how the budget finished for April. I'm very happy with where everything is going. And if I look, you know, over the year, I have already paid off well over $4,000 in debt. So that makes me super happy. And it kind of says that I can do this, you know, hopefully in a couple months when fall decorating and crafting comes around my and the channels you know the it's the ad revenue my views are the same um but it's the ad revenue is less in the summertime so when ad revenue kicks back up and my income gets higher then i can send again more money to that to my credit cards so that is everything you guys have a fantastic day and i will talk with you later bye